Welcome back to another Every Forget Wednesday. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because I promise you're going to love it. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Okay, so what are we doing this week? But let's just get right into it. First of all, I'd just like to say thank you guys for all the birthday wishes last week week and the late ones too they all count they all count today i look this is not a drama channel these aren't the type of videos that i normally make but it's this it's something that's getting on my nerves so i have to address it <sighs> okay one moment <clears throat> put on my spectacles put on my spectacles okay today we are going to discuss your options while on the internet particularly social media, because apparently a lot of people don't understand that you have the option to unfollow, you have the option to keep scrolling, you have the option to put down your phone, to close the laptop. What you're not gonna do, what we're not gonna keep doing is keep being me. People go out of their way to be And I, I, anyways, let me just back up to why I even got to this if you don't know, Gabby Hanna, here she is. She has a podcast. She's been a YouTuber for a long while. Box of Thoughts, great podcast, great show. She does it with Irene Walter. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. It's a really fun show. Recently on her podcast, for like the last two or three episodes, Gabby and Irene keep addressing people who keep coming after Gabby for being a bad friend, for being fake, for being manipulative. They're saying Irene is her shadow that she can. Why are you friends with Gabby Hannah? Here's the thing. I, not that you guys care about little YouTuber drama. That, that's not the point here. The point that I'm getting at here is why, why, if you don't like a YouTuber, if you don't like an influencer, if you don't like someone's content, even if it's just a tweet, why do you continue to keep tabs on them? These people can relay every wrong thing that every wrong thing that Gabby has and it, and this isn't exclusive to Gabby. I'm just I'm using her in this situation as an example because it's the most recent one on my mind and she just so happens to be one of those YouTubers that people love to hate and I don't get it. And even on her show she even she even said that there is a girl who every tweet, every video, the same girl is always one of the first people to respond and always has something negative to say. But the girl doesn't follow her on anything. This, this, this stand does not follow Gabby on anything. She's always the first one to comment and it's always something nasty. And so Gabby finally got to the point and said, hey, what gives? Like, uh, okay, hello? And the girl says, well, I just keep tabs on you to make sure you're being a good person. Okay, look. Guys. We're not going to agree with everything that our favorite influencers said. We're not going to agree with every YouTuber. And I think that it's good that people feel bold to call people out if they're doing something wrong. But if someone's not actually hurting someone... If someone's not actually breaking a law or doing something like really outlandish, you really should feel no need to have to correct them. That is not your job. That is not your place. If you don't like what they're doing, they keep it moving. It, it's, it's so much other things to do. And I, another thing is, we all know that the hate's not going to stop. People love drama, honey. People love to say, well, why would you do that? You can't do that. If you're one of those people, stop. But also, on the other side of the spectrum, if you're an influencer, <sighs> stop with the apology videos. You know, if you really made a big boo-boo, you know, make an apology. Because, you know, people say, oh, she should apologize. She should make, he should make a video. But these people, they make these videos and then you guys get mad because, well, they cried. They didn't cry. She made it about herself. 
she didn't address the issue. The apology video was too long. It wasn't short enough. Stop apologizing because you're not going to satisfy anybody anyway. So, so why bother? You know, if you make a really, you know, a boo-boo, like, for instance, Jacqueline Hill. Here's Jacqueline Hill. Beauty guru, YouTuber, great gal. You know, a couple of her recent releases of makeup, she's in combination with Morphe. A couple of Jacqueline Hill's releases over the last year have had really, um, they've had some issues. Not going to go into detail. If you want to look it up, Jacqueline Hill, Morphe, lipsticks, eyeshadow, palettes, whatever. Go look it up. You can read about it. If it's something where you release the product, makeup, merch, otherwise, and there was some kind of issue with the product, then okay. Address it, make the apology video. That's understandable. But if it's something where somebody just didn't like what you said in a video, if somebody had took an issue with just, you know, what whatever. And I'm not saying that people shouldn't be held accountable. You know, accountability is important. But if you spend all day, if you take the time to apologize to every person that you offended, you know, because then it's a matter of, you you know, people say, well, it's just picking and choosing. How come she apologized for this and not that? Don't apologize. You said what you said and be done. I know I'm talking in circles here. I'm all over the place. But it's just really annoying because as viewers, as someone who really likes YouTube, it's, you can't enjoy YouTube because it's like every five minutes, your favorite creators have to stop and make some dumb apology. Or their video, they're, they're not themselves because... They're sad because haters are gonna hate. It's it's sad that people can't just make content in peace and then somebody ruins it and you know, look, and you don't wanna take time off, but most of the time when people make videos and they're not feeling themselves, you can tell the energy is not right. It's off. <sighs> That's sad on that. And the last thing I wanna say is people gotta let stuff go. If you if you are a fan of someone and they upset you, but you choose to forgive them, forgive them. Stop bringing up everything that they let it go. And if they did something that you can't let go, stop following them. Or just don't just don't say anything at all. Another example I want to bring up is James Charles and Brett Van Rock recently did a collab video together. They haven't collabed together. I think this is the first time that they've ever done a video together. Not for any reason. And and of course, you know, all the all the YouTubers have to be best friends. All the all the beauty gurus have to be best friends. Oh, it must be drama. No, they just never got to do videos together because they have lives. They're busy. It's hard to connect with people. But anyways, they did a video together. You know, they tweet out the video announcement. Hey, come watch the video. James Charles' comment section was very, Yay, I'm so sister excited. Yay, sister. Woohoo. Bretman Rock's comment section, Ew, why are you doing a video with James Charles? I hate him. I won't be watching. He's so this. He's so that. Blah, blah. You know, if you don't want to watch a video, don't watch the video. But... For you to, if you're a so-called Bretman Rock fan, for you to not watch a video just because he did a collab with someone you don't like, why can't you just get past that and support him? And if it's something you can't get past, James Charles isn't for everybody. Not everyone is on his payroll like I am. I get that. You don't need to go out of your way to tell Bretman ill. Why are you, you know, you, you people wonder why people go and kill themselves. You know, not to get dark. But people are so rude. And then as soon as somebody goes and, you know, I... Uh, final example. I know most people probably watching this video probably don't like her. But for those of you who do, Bad Baby. I had, I had to bring her up. I had to bring her up. I have to bring up Bad Baby because I am a fan. I think she's a very talented little girl. And she cracks me up. She cracks me up. She really does. And without getting too much into it, it it's... It's the same thing. People love to hate that girl. And at the end of the day, she is a girl. She is a kid. If you don't, people know her every move. And it's just like, 
I the the influencers or celebrities that I don't really care for, I have no idea what they're doing. Why? Because I don't keep tabs on them. I don't Google them. If I randomly see an article about them, I keep scrolling. I don't read it, and I and I most definitely don't leave a a, a hate co for what? Who? They don't care about little old me anyway. But anyways, back to bad baby. You know. <sighs> You really gotta leave the girl alone for one because she's a kid now when she's of age and y'all want to attack her you still shouldn't do it but it won't make you look as as coward as you are for picking on this little teenage girl now i think she's pretty close to 18 but the point is, is that she's not all that stuff that she went through with with the disney channel girl um sky jackson not gonna get into that because it's old news if you don't know about it go look it up Everybody crucified that baby and her mother and everyone just took Sky's side and that's okay if you took her side but no one had the facts no one knew what happened no one cared to me I feel like Sky was in the wrong I'm just saying not to say the bad baby was right but I'm saying bad baby Sky and both of their mothers had something to learn from that whole situation but i like i said i'm, I'm definitely team bad baby to me it should have it should have never been a misunderstanding and the misunderstanding should have stayed between the two teenage girls the mothers did not need to get involved but i understand why bad baby's mother jumped in because sky's mother attacked her what you're not going to do is attack my child you're not going to attack my child and then think that i'm not going to jump in it now bad baby's mother Probably should have just looked at that woman, prayed for her, and moved on. But that's easier said than done, right? Am I right? Also, I forgot. Uh, say hello to my uh, special guest. Hello, this is Peep Franks. Y'all know him. Anyways, moving on. Get back, back, back to to this whatever. If Sky's mother has such a huge issue with what Bad Baby was saying, address her mother. You don't address a a child. It, it was it, the whole thing could have been handled differently whole another story for another video but the, the the point the fact of the matter is the fact that you have grown people keeping tabs on teenage drama there's gotta be a book for you people to read there's gotta be anyways i could go on and on i have details for days but anyways the point of this video is stop keeping tabs on people that you don't like it's that it's just that simple it's that simple and if you see someone giving praise to someone they love don't don't comment under them and say ew why do you like them i don't understand and gabby poor gabby you know that, that girl can't catch a damn break that that's that's for sure Please go check her out. She has great content. She's been doing this for years, so clearly she knows what she's doing. Also, go check out Irene. Irene is not Gabby's shadow. And another thing, one last thing. I know I keep saying this, but one last thing. It's one thing to try to take up for someone, and I'm going back to people calling Irene Gabby's shadow. It's okay to try to take up for someone. But if in the process, you're making that person seem like they are a spineless, mindless a jellyfish, you probably need to check yourself. Because most people who are trying to take up for Irene are making Irene seem like she's just this oh, dumb girl who can't take up for herself. This is a grown woman. And if for whatever reason she's happy in being in the friendship that she's in with Gabby, let her be in that. That's great that y'all want to take up for her and everything and look out. That's that's a that can be a beautiful thing. But the girls happy. Y'all don't see everything. everything. You see what they film and you hear what they talk about on the podcast. You don't know their friendship. And I'm not saying that their friendship is great or perfect, because I don't know. But for you to assume that Irene is not the type of person they can evaluate a friendship and say, okay. Gabby does not need to be in my life. That's an insult. That's an insult to not only Gabby, it's an insult to Irene. That's not helping. It's not helping. Help, help. If you want to call out someone for doing something illegal or mean, do that. But do it respectfully. Don't stoop to their level. If it's just something 
that you don't like what they said, then just don't like it and move on. Once again, I like to reiterate your options. Scroll, unfollow, unsubscribe. If you can't get away from it, uninstall your Twitter, uninstall your Instagram, uninstall your YouTube. Don't watch it. Put the phone down, close the computer. You have options. You don't have to be mean. And if you feel like you need to be mean, go get you a cold one. Go read a book. Go take a jog. Go do, get, there's got to be something better for you to do with your time than to be mean on the internet. Cut it out. Anyways, that's all I have time for today, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think and what your thoughts are. Is it okay to be a little mean? Are you mean? Do you go around bullying people? Has anyone ever bullied you? I want to know. Let me know. Give a compliment to someone today, either in person or online. Click subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Click the post notification bell. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, niggas. Okay.